Beware of drugs. Beware of those drugs. Those things they call medicine. I want to talk to you a little bit today about drugs or what we've been brainwashed to call medicine. Okay, so when we have a cold or we have, yeah, you know, uh, a little bit of infection somewhere or something like that, will it be this or will it be that, that bottle, that drug? So I want to tell you a story today. Now, I'm not telling you not to take your drugs or your pills or your medicine. That's definitely not what I'm saying. It is not within my power to say that. It is not within my place to say that. And uh, I don't think uh, that anyone would tell you not to take your drugs or your medicine or your pills. Okay? But I want to tell you a story. Now, I have a family member who recently had a little bit of, a, of an infection and uh, went to the doctor and got some antibiotic and took the antibiotic as directed. And that same evening, uh, that individual became deathly ill. Okay? Uh, she had swelling of her throat, swelling of her tonsils, swelling of her lips, beefy swelling lips, okay, swelling of her face. She had pins and needles all over her arms from the shoulder all the way down to the fingers, okay, pins and needles all over her face. Um rashes, difficulty breathing, lightheadedness, dizziness, nausea, um, confusion. She could not walk. And I'm trying to think of what else was going on with her. Just felt like crap to the point where she was not able to go to work for three days. This is an individual who never stops, uh, who never stays away from work. No matter how sick she feels, she stays, she goes to work. And she was so sick that she could not go to work for three days. And she was also laid up for the weekend. So a total of five days laid up in bed pretty much could not swallow she also had sores on her lips and inside her mouth and her throat so she called the doctor to let the doctor know what was going on and his instruction to her was to take benadryl 50 milligrams every six hours which she had to take it because who knows what would have happened had she not taken it she had had severe allergic reaction to this antibiotic okay and if you do your own research you will find that thousands of people die every single year here in the United States from adverse reaction to, to drugs okay to what we call what they call medicine to drugs thousands of people die and even more have severe allergic reactions from which they were able to recover or probably did not fully recover because a lot of times these side effects or adverse reactions stay with us like the numbness and the tingling Many people never recover from these things, okay? So, the thing is that natural remedies like, for example, this lime, garlic, onion, um, fasting, drinking just water or green juice and 
things like that. They work. It's just that we are a microwave society. We want things to work right now. Natural remedies, what natural remedies do is boost our, our immune system so that our bodies can heal themselves from these conditions. Okay, but I don't know of any adverse reaction like that that a Lyme would have. But I sure know of many adverse reactions that these drugs have. And many people lose their lives because of adverse reactions from drugs. It is our responsibility to acquaint ourselves with the side effects and potential side effects of these drugs. But most people take these things year in and year out and they, we never familiarize ourselves with them. And I think if we did, most of us would not even take them. And you, we hear them advertising these drugs on TV. <laughs> and oftentimes I hear them say, hey, you are at risk for dying or having seizures and things like that. And if you already have kidney problems, tell your doctor because this could ruin your kidney and put you in kidney failure. We listen, but somehow we don't hear and we continue taking the poison. So I say, I want to beware of these drugs. I will not take them. That's my decision. Whatever is going on, I will find a way to help my body to heal itself of whatever is going on. And better yet, I will eat healthy and I will take excellent care of my body so that my body can ward off any of these potential infections, diseases, and disorders so I don't have to take these drugs which I consider to be poison you know when you work in the hospital as a nurse it is mandatory that we discuss medication side effects and advert potential adverse reactions with our patients mandatory so if it wasn't that important to know these side effects would we be mandated to do so so it is my responsibility to be aware of what I'm putting into my body, my temple. Okay? And I encourage you to do the same thing. Beware of those drugs. Take care.